Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers, it's completely free, you can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet, the powerful search function helps you find anything you want, trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video, I'm pretty sure you'll like it, thanks. I'm Lawrence Rose, and behind me, this is one of my many mistakes. This is my Dennis RS-130 fire engine, Now it's the second thing I ever bought. And it's quite a large problem, but I love the thing to pieces, and it's led to acquiring several other things. In fact, lots of things. We have a YouTube channel, Lawrence McCann's Marvels, where we document this ridiculous collection of superb things. And you might be thinking, well, why buy a fire engine? And honestly, if I have to explain it, you won't ever understand it, because I don't get it either. I need to have a great, great thing to take out and drive around. The big red thing behind me cost me £2,000. And when you consider that it weighs just over 11 tonnes, that's an awful lot of metal for your back. And as for restoration, well, it's an ongoing process. Every time I think I've fixed it, something else goes wrong. But then it is a machine that's 40 years old, so I guess that's something that's to be expected. Oh, and if our engine's great, you can take it to all kinds of places, which normally aren't a big deal. Like taking it to the shops suddenly becomes a massive ordeal. And then you get your friends saying, hey, I'd really like to have it at a wedding. And you go, that sounds like fun. Having a fire engine has always had one thing, and that's people assume that I know everything about fire engines. I don't. I'm an idiot, and I thought this was a good idea to buy. And it's been a wonderful experience, because people come up to you and talk about it and assume that I'm a firefighter or something like that. You go, no, no, I'm just an idiot who thought this would be fun. And it has been a remarkably large amount of fun. It's been a great learning curve. And it's basically launched a YouTube channel. From this, the adventures of this, fixing it, the trials and tribulations, it's all covered on our channel, Lorry's Mechanic Models, alongside our other vehicles, my locomotive, another fire engine, tractors, diggers, cars, all sorts. And it's all because of one bad decision at a stag do.